Hey guys, so I want to just talk to you a little bit about diastasis recti, the separation of your um, abdominal wall that can happen during pregnancy and that often plagues us postpartum. So there's a lot of confusion around the diastasis. Um, there's a lot of talk about it, about what not to do, of what to do, of what can cause it, um, including exercises um, and movement patterns and that kind of thing. So. It's really important, I think, to dispel some of the um, common, I guess, misunderstandings surrounding diastasis recti or DR. Um, so basically, I will start with talking about it during pregnancy. During pregnancy, your abdominal wall will stretch to accommodate your growing uterus and baby. This may cause your six-pack muscles or rectus abdominis to separate. Recent research has shown this happens to the vast majority of women by third trimester. So on to one of the most common questions I receive, what causes diastasis recti? The most common reason is the belly stretching and getting bigger during pregnancy. Quite often, regardless of preventative measures, many women can't actually prevent the separation of their abdominal muscles. However, this is not to say that you can't also cause damage in the abdominal muscles with poor movement and breathing habits. Most poor movement and breathing habits are powered by bad posture, like rounded shoulders and a tucked pelvis. This is a bad position for the pelvis and the core and the spine, whereas this is more of a neutral position, much better for the core and the spine. And finally, we have poor exercise choices during pregnancy, which is also a way to damage the core. Many lifts and big movements can cause intra-abdominal pressure, especially those that are performed with poor breathing mechanics. So that means that basically there is pressure from the inside of the abdominal cavity against the muscles, causing possibly separation. Probably the most commonly cited exercises to cause diastasis are crunches, sit-ups, v-sits, and the like that essentially cause the rectus muscles or six-pack muscles to separate themselves because of the movement. Along the same lines is extension of the spine without support. So for example, this is a cobra stretch um, and this is encouraging the abdominal muscles to be out of neutral position. This stretch can be modified in prenatal yoga. And finally, it's really important to know that the pelvic floor and the abdominal muscles work together with the diaphragm as a whole mechanism that it supports itself. So without the support of one end of it, you're not going to get good support from the other end. The abdominal muscles function a little bit differently during pregnancy and postpartum due to the stretching. So if the abdominal muscles are not able to support pressure that the pelvic floor is undergoing from heavy pounding or jumping or running, then it will not function correctly. Unfortunately, the issues that arise from excessive unsupported pressure on the pelvic floor during pregnancy are not often seen until postpartum. Women with a severe diastasis recti postpartum are much more likely to experience pelvic floor dysfunction. This can present itself in many different ways, including incontinence and prolapse. So here's the question, what do I do to prevent diastasis? Firstly, and probably most simply, sit up straight. Actively using your core muscles when you're sitting and not sitting on your tailbone can make such a difference. Considering most jobs have you sitting all day long, this really is how you spend the majority of your day as opposed to exercising. Secondly, you need to choose your movements well. So even in everyday movements, like when you're getting up off the floor or out of bed, roll to your side, push yourself up with your hands, and then stand up. It's also really important to not be afraid to change your routine up during pregnancy as far as exercise goes. And that doesn't necessarily mean deviating completely from what you love. It just means that you need to be open to new options. Three fairly easy adjustments to make to your routine are to reduce your weights appropriately, meaning that you really need to pay attention to your breathing so you're not holding your breath at any point. Secondly, taking rest days between workouts will allow your body to recover and also put less frequent stress on your connective tissue, including this connective tissue in your abdominal muscles. Finally, listen to your body. If a movement doesn't feel good anymore, then you should maybe take a second look at it. Is it the best movement for your body at this time? You are probably most likely to see this with complicated movements like pull-ups or overhead squats or snatches that may be able to be added in postpartum but aren't necessarily a great movement right now. 
finally, although it's important to really take caution when it comes to your abdominal muscles, it's also really important not to ignore them and to become paranoid that you're going to damage them by training them. Training in a neutral spine position is a great way to modify a lot of movements. Here are a couple examples from PregnaFit classes. There are countless ways to safely train your core during pregnancy, and a lot of them are combination movements. This is a hip hinge to a pull, which is great for your pelvis as well. This is a straight arm push down that you can do with 15 to 20 pounds per side on a cable machine, exhaling as you press down. This is a half kneeling cable chop going upward, and this is also a great one with a cable machine. This is a racked kettlebell march, which allows you to stay in perfectly neutral position, but you can really load it up. This is an overhead squat to push down with a resistance band, which allows you to use your pelvic floor as well. I hope this video was helpful for you to give you a better idea of what diastasis is, what causes it, and what can prevent it. So I'd love any feedback or any questions that you have, you know, please comment below or shoot me a message um, on Facebook or Instagram or email me at info at Thanks.